Hi, and welcome to this week's video, which is all about the Allegiance storytelling type. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien, and I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online, right through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And as I said, today is all about storytelling the allegiance storytelling type. And this is one of the four storytelling types or categories that I use, each of which have a different prompt underneath them um, or lots of different prompts underneath them to um, allow you to create stories that both attract the right people to you, but also empower them to take action now with you, whether that's subscribe to your email list, book a discovery call or buy one of your products. Now with the allegiance storytelling type, what this means is um, those values we have, the beliefs that we have. We need to be able to structure these stories and the reason why these are just so important in your business is because they attract the right person to you. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you've attracted a client who um, you ended up working with them you knew when you were talking with them that maybe they weren't quite the right fit and then when you started working with them, it, was, um, it wasn't a nice experience. And so um, what we want to do is attract more of the right people to us so we don't end up in that situation because if we don't love what we do or don't love the people that we're working with, what really is the point of it anyway? So that's what this story is about is people understanding um, who you are, what you believe in, what your values are, and often you will attract the people who share the same values and beliefs as you. And of course that um, means that just as importantly you're appealing the people that aren't the right fit so that you don't have to end up in the situation I just shared. Now one of the type of beliefs um, and examples that I want to share with you today is actually your client's belief, which is a limiting belief that they might have that's stopping them from taking action with you. So I know, for example, in my business, one of the beliefs that my ideal client has is that they can't write and they can't share stories. Um, what I've discovered is that they all could write. They've got amazing, um, once they actually commit to it, they can create some amazing um, stories and they do have a great writing ability. It's just their self-belief that's um, stopping them. And of course, um, with the storytelling, we're all natural born storytellers. Just to listen to yourself the next time your son or your daughter or even your husband um, asks you to do something and listen to yourself as you persuade them why that's not a good idea. Uh, we are all born with this storytelling skill. We just need to be able to know how to bring it out through using prompts and having someone there to guide you on um, finding the right stories that do prompt action. So as I said, that's one of, been one of the um, challenges that I've found, but the reality is that when I started in journalism, you know, 16, um, you know, I was in journalism for 16 years, but at the beginning of those 16 years, I was highly passionate about writing, but wasn't necessarily a great writer, and I had plenty of senior journalists and um, editors who uh, quickly pulled me up on my writing as I was going through and of course helped develop um, my writing skills um, through my career to the point that I guess um, now I can write things without really thinking about what I'm doing. It just happens, it, it lands on the page and I don't think too much about the technical side of it. So when I started doing what I'm doing today, clients would ask me to help them with their writing, help them with content help them with storytelling and I realised that I found it really difficult to explain to people how to do it well because it's, for me now, it becomes second nature. So I really had to step back, strip everything back and work out what were the fundamental things that get someone to um, be able to write great stories and tell great stories. So that's what I do now in my business and I help people through that with their marketing to be able to tell the right stories in the right place. And so as you can see, I wasn't born a natural, naturally great writer even though I was passionate about it. Um, and I have now developed the systems to help people. So I can tell that story as a way to share that if you feel you're not a great writer or a great storyteller or you don't do so well um, on tip, Really it is just knowing the strategies and ensuring that what you create is purposeful as well so it does have an impact in your business. So I want you to now have a look at your own um, values and beliefs but also particularly as I'm saying here with the um, 
beliefs that your ideal client has that you know you need to overcome those beliefs or they're not going to invest in you until they can believe, um, have a different belief um, around that. So if you want a particular prompt to help you with the allegiance storytelling type, you'll notice a link here somewhere to the storytelling map, which has a prompt in it for all four of the different types of storytelling, but particularly with the allegiance one. So that you can start crafting a story for yourself um, that you can use in your marketing, whether it's, story, whether it's um, social media and your sales page, your next newsletter um, or your next blog post that you're creating and ensure that you're putting the right messages out there to attract the right people to you so that you're not getting in a situation where you are attracting the wrong people to your business. Now, I hope you found this really helpful. As I said, download the storytelling map. It will really help you further um, beyond this video. And um, thanks again for listening. And I'll see you again in next week's video. Thanks so much.